So after I raced in Hamburg, I decided to come to Pontevedra because I was really just looking for a nice place to train in between races. With the time change from the US, you know, obviously I didn't want to jump back and forth. It was kind of between here and maybe somewhere else in Spain, and I got connected with Javi through a couple friends. I knew the training was good here. If you have somebody like Javi training here for most of his career, you know it's going to be pretty good training. And luckily, it's been, it's been fantastic. Yeah, it's worked out. It means so much to me to be able to train with Javi. You know, these are people that I've looked up to for most of my career, and Javi is maybe one of the most consistent, probably the most consistent athlete in our sport of all time. And being able to interact with somebody like that is is amazing for me. I've maybe been pestering him with questions all week, just asking him, you know, as much as I can, because to have the opportunity to learn from somebody with that much experience is, yeah, it's priceless. He's talked a little bit about the water current. Um, we've ridden the course a couple times, just him and I. He's just been honestly super helpful. The biggest goal is just to race with consistency. You know, obviously I want to make an Olympic team. That's like a dream for everyone racing this. I kind of just want to take it one step at a time, start to get some consistent results. You know, put my put my name in there, you know, as much as I can, and just try to mix it up with the best people in the world, and um, you know, hopefully see some good progress over the next couple of years. Well, for me, this has like been the most amazing experience ever. You know, it's 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 really cool to meet uh, such a talented athlete, such an accomplished athlete, but at the same time, they're a really genuine person and uh, really nice person. And you know, it's it's not every day that. You know, you, you get to meet somebody like this that's this accomplished, but also such a good friend as well. So I'm very thankful for uh, you taking care of me this week no and problem, um, yeah. and showing me the way and, and treating me like a normal person. You know, you don't have to do that. Yeah. So it's, cool. uh, it's great to have a young, uh, talented athletes in town. You know, I'm from here, I train here, live here, and seeing, uh, you know, an event like this, the World Cup, and, and, and guys like Chase coming is great. And uh, it was so fun to train together. Uh, for a couple of weeks at least and uh, yeah, wish him all the best for the race and hopefully he comes back for a proper training camp here in Pontevedra and uh, yeah, we keep, keep training well. It's incredible to see all this set up, you know, now they all, almost everything is ready for the race, seeing the athletes training around, you know, my training grounds and my hometown. It, it's really cool. I mean, uh, at the same time, I'm a little bit sad of not racing, you know, but uh, obviously this year has been a bit different for me. I'm still recovering after COVID and more focused on longer stuff. But um, yeah, it's, it's great. And I'm sure the athletes will have a great experience competing here. Pontevedra proved many times that they are great organizing events. And uh, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be a great show for both for the athletes and for the spectators. After so many years competing in World Triathlon short course, it was a time I think to, to step up to long distance, try something different and, and get the motivation again to train hard to compete. And I was doing quite well. I was about to go to uh, World Championships uh, in Utah last May, but the day before traveling I got COVID and uh, it was quite hard on me and it took me some time to recover. Um, so this year hasn't been so good, but now it looks like I'm fine again. I'm getting back into my normal training routine and hopefully I can set some goals towards the end of the year and hopefully do well. The leveling long distance is amazing for these athletes you mentioned, you know. I always say that a short course racing is like the Formula One of triathlon, you know. It's where the most talented athletes are and guys like Jan Froden who's been um, Ironman World Champion for a few times, but he comes from Olympic distance. He was really talented, Olympic champion. Um, guys like the Norwegians and Alistair Brownlee, you know. And then there are others like specific long distance athletes who are doing very well. So it's a good mix of people there. And at the moment, it's a very interesting uh, time to enjoy long distance racing. The level is so high. Triathlon is such a great sport. We have so many good distances and styles of racing. It's a good time for triathlon, I believe. I'm not sure if I'm going to be in Kona this year. Unfortunately, I missed my qualifying opportunities. I, I still have one, but it might be too tight. And after COVID, everything went a bit sideways for me. But if not Kona, I'll be 70.3 Worlds, hopefully doing another Ironman towards the end of the year. PTO events, so I uh, have a few ideas and my calendar will be full uh, somehow.